Hey guys, I'm Rebecca and this is Evolve Strength 2. I am so happy to have you here today. Here's the deal, you bought your tools in basics, you started to build that foundation in Strength 1, and today in Strength 2, we're building that dream house that you've always had in your mind. Now in this set, you're gonna give me seven strong moves followed by a blowout two times through. And as always, these are primal movements designed to build strength. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get started. Take your hands up behind your head, press your elbows out, take a deep breath in. And we're gonna start with our cross crawl, elbow to knee. Now you're gonna see in every single workout that there's three mods going on here. Mod one is the easiest, up to mod three, which is gonna be the hardest. Now you're gonna see my girl Courtney over here in modification number one. Feel free to start right here and advance on top of it. How you doing today, Court? All feeling great. Awesome. Hands come up in front of us, and we're gonna actually add a nice little hop right now. Now moving back into modification number two, I have Robin back here. These movements are gonna be a little bit more advanced, and if you're not quite ready for mod three, or if you need a step back from mod three, Robin's your girl that you're gonna take a look to. Let's take our hands out in front, and I want small kicks. Reaching that same toe for that same hand. As long as that bottom leg is staying straight, I wanna stretch out the back of your legs right here. Start to wake up those flexors and really extend through that quad right now. Modification number three, our most advanced mod out of all three, and if you're really ready to take it up a notch, D-gaze your man. Now he's gonna smile through today because he's never not wearing a smile and I love that about him. This is super duper hard and I really want you guys to be challenged. No matter what mod you're doing today, own it. Take your hands out to the side, and we're actually gonna twist this kick right now. Nice small twist kicks. So waking up that core, always make sure if you're not understanding the movements inside and out, or maybe you just haven't had that light bulb go off yet, go ahead and check out the tutorials. Let's take those hands on our hips, butt kicks up and back, heels up to your booty. The point of the warm up is to move from rest to activity, so we actually have to get that blood flowing, get that heart rate up, you can shake the hands out right now. So I want to take these butt kicks and we're going to move them up into high knees. In three, two, and one. High knees up in front. Start to wake that body up. If this is the first time you've moved this much all day long, you're welcome. We're going back into butt kicks in three, two, one. Just a quick one. We're going to take it into side lunges in just a second. Last set of high knees in three, two, one. Knees up, knees up. Whew. We have three, two, and one. Step your feet together. Side lunge right, side lunge left, two jumping jacks. Again, right and left, two jacks. We're gonna finish right here, one more set. This is it, two jacks, and go ahead and shake it out. Okay guys, so we're ready to start our first round of set A. Now remember, seven moves, one blowout, two times through. Y'all ready? Oh yeah. Yes, okay oh, yes. team, let's get into it. It's gonna be a front side back lunge. So you're gonna see our arms start up overhead, that right leg steps forward, comes through center, off to the side, back through center, drop it down back behind you, up through center. All the way through, we're gonna stay on this right side, halfway we'll switch. Time starts in three, two, here we go. First move is set A. So we're right in the top right now. Now I want you to see in the top mod, we're going down to 90 degrees every single time. I want you to drop that knee over the ankle, not over the toe, his hips go back. Modification number three is chest stays up nice and high. Get ready to switch in three, two, left leg right now. If going down 90 degrees is too tough for you, or you find yourself losing your balance, you can always start to get a little bit lower each and every time you step down. That's it right there, guys. In three, two, shake it out. Second move, we're going into our weather vane squat. Clasp those hands right in front of you. Shoulders down and back. We're gonna lift our right leg up. We're gonna lower down for three, two, one. You're gonna hold it, smile, and lift for two. Directly back down, so there's no pause at the top. Time starts in three, two, and one. Even I get a little bit off kilter with my ankle sometimes. Just keep your focus and slow the movement down if you have to. Stay nice and low. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. 
Stay nice and tight in that core. Go ahead and switch sides right now. So you see Robin, she's gonna squeeze in modification number two, squeeze her shoulder blades back behind you. She's still reaching that foot way out in front of her. That leg's firing up, yeah? Oh, yeah. The leg that's doing the work is the standing leg. Suck those abs in. Killer, nice. One more, one more, you got this. In three, two, one. Hey, if you gotta smile through it, fake it till you make it. I promise it'll feel better afterwards. Okay. Going into sumo squat. That means our toes are gonna turn out. Our hands are gonna come up overhead and we're gonna go slow down for three, hold for three. One, two, three. Hold, one, two, three. Lift and automatically we're going back down. Time starts in three, two, one. Get your sumo on. <laughs> But this doesn't mean you can actually let your belly hang out, you know, even though we're doing a sumo squat, I need it sucked in. Every time you're doing a squat, it's an opportunity to squeeze that backside, right? Because you need to be able to have the strong backside to have the strong front side. Everything works like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I want you to squeeze on the way up, lip, 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 squeeze, poke test. I always <laughs> love to throw a poke test in there. If you're ever around me, just assume that it's coming. There we go. Oh, they're burning. <laughs> About 10 more seconds, everyone. Our hips this back. Like test. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna give you one? Yeah, somewhere. There it is. Oh, come on, get it. Two, one, and relax, guys. Okay, guys, shake out the legs. We're moving right along into our advanced moving bridge. So take it down to the floor. I want you to bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders, flex your toes so that your toes are off the floor, you're lifting up on your heels, and you're gonna extend one leg out at a time. Now, you gotta really lift from the back side of that body so there's none of this. Time starts in three, two, and one. Now I want you to come over here and just look at mod three right here. DJ is super duper lifted from the back side of his body. I could even do the poke test down here and he's not even doing a squat. That's how engaged his glutes are. Your hamstring, glutes, the low back, everything's firing up. Is this an easy one? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm so glad he actually got a half a sentence out. That's amazing. The elbow's directly underneath. He's extending through the fingers and he's just giving everything he's got. Now I need you to get out of your head and get into your body on moves like these. They're gonna make you wanna give up. They're gonna make you wanna sit down, but you're not gonna do it because you can get through this. You do not quit, you hear me? In three, two, and relax right there. Nice work, everybody. Come on down, we're staying on our back for windshield wipers. So taking your hands out into T position, flexing through those feet. We're gonna take our feet over to the right for two. We're gonna hold for one, lift up through the center, over, hold for one, up and over through the center. Time starts in three, two, and one. Now, I love windshield wipers. They literally require your entire core to be firing up right now. Now I'm gonna do something in mod two right here. I still wanna see the feet nice and flexed. And see, you don't even need shoes for this workout. All you need is that nine foot space, right? So Robin's right here. You're gonna actually see the muscles of her legs, all the fibers firing up, working together. So if you can't do the full straight legs, you're gonna give me the slight bend of the knee right here. And that's still challenging. Fingernails press into the mat, really lock those shoulders down. You're gonna see Court in mod one right here. Neither shoulder is lifting up off the mat. Keep those knees glued together. You got this, girl. Two, one, and relax, guys. Okay, guys. <sighs> Traveling narrow push-ups with a pause. So these are your compound push-ups. I want you to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Feet are just about together. We're gonna travel over to the right, nice and narrow with the hands. We're gonna go down, down, up, up. Back through center, over to the left, down, down, up, up, back through center. Here are the compound movements that I'm talking about. You're traveling narrow pause push-ups. Time starts in three, two, one, get it. This is an amazing time for you to actually assess where your body's at. And if you need to mod down here, I don't want you to be afraid to do that. I know you wanna wring every drop of sweat out of that towel. Now, in order to get there, form over everything. So if you gotta go to those knees, I want you to do it. Because eventually, you're gonna be up at mod two. Eventually, you're gonna be up at mod three. Think about progressing every single time you have a chance. And if you need to mod down, Go for it. How are we all doing, everyone? Oh, good. 
You guys have about 10 more seconds right now. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. You have three seconds. This is two, this is one, and you're done. Staying down where you are, we're going into wacky jack planks. So you're gonna come down to your forearms. So, we're gonna go equal arms, equal arms, plank position. We're gonna take our elbow to our knee, elbow to our knee. Now, time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. You're actually gonna really manipulate the side of that body. These are extremely challenging movements. We're looking for core strength. We're looking for actual strength in our upper body. And we're looking for strength in our lower body. Whatever leg is staying down, it's firing up energy throughout that back heel. That way you're actually gonna stay lifted and you're not gonna break and fall down. Look at mod one. The arm stays stationary and the legs are moving up. And in mod two, a little bit more difficult. The legs stay stationary and the arms move down. How we doing, Robin? Core is burning. Elbow still pulling back. I still want to get that crease okay. in that side. Make a nice sandwich with my hand. I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah. Get it one more time. Three, uh. two, and one. Shake it down. Thank you. See, you're always giving me 95. I want to get that full 100 out of you. Stand it up for that blowout, guys. You gave me the seven movements. Here it is. Jumping jacks and air squats. Okay, DJ. Time starts in three, Move it. two, one. Here we go. Nice. Long, straight arms, letting the heels kiss the ground. We're in E2 right here, so I want you to work to keep that pace up. If you want to make it harder for yourself, really reach your arms up as far as possible overhead. And by doing that, you're actually going to be able to get that heart rate up longer. Letting those heels just kiss the floor, right? You have three more seconds, and we're going to go into our first set of air squats. Three, two, one. Here we go. Arms up on the down, down on the up. Up on the down, down on the up. Nice. That's excellent. Do it again. You're in that squat. Squats burn the most calories out of every move you could think of. Hit 90 every single time if you can. not Get low in that squat. Do not fake it till you make it right here. I want the real deal. Because you're not faking anyone except for yourself. Four more seconds, jumping jacks in three, two, one. Jack it out. Let's go, guys. How are we doing? All right. Can you go faster? Match me. Match me. There we go. Okay. Okay, we have five more seconds. Robin, how are we doing? Great. Breathe. You got it. Two. Air squats, one. Here we go. Finish strong. I'm coming for you, Court. I want to get low. Get low. Take it up. Just as up. You're going to still see nice deep squats in mod one right here. You have three, Court. You have two. You have one. And you made it. Good job, guys. You have 45 seconds to take a break. I want you to go ahead and get some water right now. Water is so important. You have to be sipping water and staying hydrated before, during, and after a workout. If water is something that you don't normally drink throughout the day, I need you to start doing it for me. If you're thirsty, that means you're already dehydrated. As we're going through things, they're gonna be a challenge. The mind is gonna quit before the body ever does. So what I need you to do for me, get out of your head, get into your body. Okay guys, second round of set A right now. So we're gonna start with that front side back lunge. Time starts in three, two, let's do it all together in one. Here we go. Front leg forward, right leg out to the side, and back behind you. So it's super important. I want you to think of your standing leg as a pendulum. You're gonna actually stay nice and put, and no matter where you go, front side, you're always gonna come back to that center. So that's why even in mod one right here, you're gonna see her tapping her foot down. Let's switch sides right here, left foot forward. It's a slight tap, that way you're actually gonna start to work on finding your balance, but I need you to keep that chest up, yeah? There we go. There it is, <laughs> look at that. As soon as the chest comes up, everything else falls in line. It's like when you hang something on a hanger, all the wrinkles fall out, right? <laughs> you guys got three, two, one, and relax. Moving into our weather vane squat. Clasp those hands again. I don't want to see you hunched forward, internally rotated. Roll the shoulders back, keep the chest up. Now we're ready to begin. Right leg forward in three, two, slow down. Here we go. It's three, two, one. Hold it. Lift one, two. Let's do that again. It's three, two, one. Hold it. Lift for two. 
Now, stay on this right hand side for half the time. That's actually asking so much of your left leg. Let's switch sides. Oh, welcome. Thank your body, man. It's getting you through it right here. Extend through that leg. Don't forget about it. Just because it's in front of you and it's down below you doesn't mean you can't see it. Flex through that foot. Toes up to the ceiling. Ready? Flex out. Nice, Robin. It's like you're actually pushing against that gas pedal, right, when you're driving. I want you to fire up that leg. Keep the chest up. Ready? Chest up, chest up, chest up. That's it. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, our sumo squat. We love these. Toes out, a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Hands up overhead. We're gonna go down for three, hold three, up for one, and directly back down. Three, two, one, here we go. Inhale lower, hold three, two, one. Exhale, lift, three, two, one, and lower back down. Now stay nice and low. As you go down, really think about getting those knees away. So splaying them out to the side. You ever taken ballet? Don't lie. You can be honest, DJ. Can we talk yet? Are we alive? Oh, yeah. Do I need a defibrillator? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm CPR certified. We can get through this together. Come on, lift, lift, lift. Inner thighs, you got this? Are they shaking yet? Can do this Not even a little bit? Okay, cool. Nice, 90, very nice. You guys have about five more seconds. We're almost there. This is three, two, and one. Relax down, guys. Shake those legs out. We have advanced moving bridge. Remember, we're coming down to the floor. We're gonna go for those leg kickouts. So, packing the shoulder. The wider your arms, the more challenging it's gonna be for your shoulders. So make sure it's lifted. Tuck those elbows in, suck the belly in. In three, lift two, extend in one. Here we go. All right. So I want you to kind of gaze down. Now, if you're actually up on your hands, or on your shoulders, I want you to look up to the ceiling. You don't have to pray to make it through, but I want you to actually just open that airway so you can breathe. Because muscles rely on oxygen and you can't get any if your airway is constricted. I'm loving the form here, guys. Hips are nice and square, keep it up. In mod three, you're gonna see, do you guys actually, if he looks down at the center of his nose, he's got a straight line all the way to the tip of his toes. He's really extending that leg. Just like you're pulling on a really tight pair of, of pants or socks all the way up to your thighs, right? In three, two, and one. Relax down, guys. Lay all the way on your back for our windshield wipers. Flex the feet, fingernails down. That's actually gonna anchor you down. Press your shoulders into the floor. Back of the head nice and relaxed on the ground. In three, over to the right. Two, and one. Here we go. Inhale the legs over to the right. Exhale up through the center. Inhale over to the left. Exhale up through the center. So you have two counts over to the right. You're gonna pause for one. So it's like a little hover, right? You ever see Back to the Future? Yes. You know the hoverboard? I do. I it was one. so cool, right? I know, I want one. Why don't they exist yet? Well, here's your hoverboard right here. If you ever need it, you're gonna have that core balance to stay on top of it. You're gonna know how to actually hover yourself. So if you ever wanna be a hoverboard, you could do that too. Exhale through, use that breath. It's actually gonna be easier to lift and lever the legs over to the opposite side if you exhale when you get there. Three, two, one, and relax. Going into our traveling narrow pause push-ups. Coming into plank position, we're gonna take our feet just about hip distance apart Fingers are nice and narrow. This is the thumb rule, yeah? They should be almost close enough to touch. So we're working the triceps of the arms. To the right, we're gonna go down, down, up, up, back through center, over to the left, down, down, up, up, and back through center. Time starts in three, two, and one. Here we go. So we're working the triceps right now. You see Robin back here in mod two. She's gonna walk over. She's giving me two pauses. Her upper arms literally squeeze the side of her body. That way you're working the tricep. Nice, Robin. What is a tricep? It is that back side of the arm. So when you see me passing you on the screen, you go, hey, Rebecca. Your arm doesn't keep waving to me after I go by. Cool? In mod one, so even on those knees, it's a nice shoulder to knee line. No break in the hip, press those hips forward. You can see her tricep firing up, keeping those abs nice and tight. Three, two, and relax, guys. You guys gave me everything. We have our wacky jack plank from our forearms coming up. No break right now. I want you to get right into the nitty gritty. Equal arms, time starts in three, 
two. Y'all ready? Oh, yes. Here we go. One. Elbow to knee crunch. Elbow to knee crunch. So you're alternating right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. So you're actually bringing it in. And I want you to think about that side right here, right? It's like giving me that lateral crunch, but actually from plank position. So we're looking to actually take our shoulder toward with our elbow to that knee and the knee and the hip up. DJ, how we doing? Oh yeah, excellent. You're nice and quiet. I know that means you're working hard. When DJ gets quiet, that means it's on. <laughs> kind of like Donkey Kong, right? Give me that squeeze. You guys got four more seconds. Come on, DJ, one more step. Three, two, squeeze it. Here we go. One, relax down. You guys, amazing work. Stand it up for our blowout. Jumping jacks and air squats. Okay, so taking our feet nice and together, arms up overhead. Time starts in three. We got 90 seconds to kill it. Two, here we go. One. All right, guys. I want you to tilt your head down just a little bit. And I want you to tilt it up. And tilt it down. Now tilt it up. You're saying yes right here. I can do this. Now quick, right? You guys got this. Turn it to the right. Ooh. We're traveling these. Turn it to the back. Turn it to the right. Turn it to the left. Oh! Back to the front. Air squats in three, two, one. Here we go. Arms up on the down, down on the up. Up on the down, down on the up. You gotta squeeze, squeeze, squeeze these glutes right now. I want you to squeeze those glutes every single time you stand. Come on, come on. Squeeze the glutes at the top. You knew I was coming around for that poke test. I told you it was coming. Heart rate should be firing up in four seconds. Back into those jumping jacks. In three, two, one, jack it out. Now, if you need to do quarter turns, you can. We're gonna go 180. Three, two, face the back. Come on, Woo! Come on, Come on guys. Come on, guys, face the front. Face the back. 15 seconds. Face the front. Come on, guys. Three, two, air squats in one. Here we go. Power it up as many as you can. Give me everything you've got. I need 100% right now. DJ, I want four. Come on, three. Let's go, Robin. Two, everybody in one. And you made it. Awesome job, up top. You see that sparkle in his eyes right here? We made it through set A. You guys, up top. Give me high fives. I need more high fives. Okay, please get yourself a sip of water if you need it. I love when my team grabs water because it's absolutely essential before, during, and after. <sighs> Only rule is don't chug it. It's not a contest how much water you can actually get down in this 45 seconds. Put your water bottle down between every sip. It's just gonna help you so that you're not gonna actually cramp up while you're working. Okay, we're into our first round of set B. I wanna go from single to double leg squat jump. It looks like this. Arms are gonna be up overhead for mod three. We're gonna go down for two with that right leg lifted, jump into that squat jump, and back up onto that right leg. So alternating legs and get as low as you can. Every time, try to hit that 90 degree squat. Three, two, one, begin. So I want you to look right here at mod one. Court's gonna have her hands on her hips and her chest is nice and lifted. So we're gonna sink into those heels and we're still gonna lift the leg on every single time. You might be a little bit higher in your squat, but you're actually still getting the benefits out of this. You're getting the plyo, you're getting the squat, you're building lean muscles. So we're gonna still feel the fatigue in the leg. How are you like feeling? Squat burn. That word burn right there, I want it to stick in your brain. Burn it in your brain. Go towards the burn, but stay away from the pain, right? There's a complete difference. Let your body talk to you, but I want you to listen to it because that burn is absolutely essential to making you stronger. Don't run away from it, own it. Three, two, one, and recover. Shake the legs out, it's our east to west lunge. Okay, so you're gonna take your hands up overhead. We're gonna start out to our right with our right leg. It's down for two, hold for one, up and over to the left with that same leg for two, hold for one. You're gonna stay on the same side. Woo, catch that balance, up and over, up and over. Stay on the same side, we'll switch halfway through. Three, two, one, begin. So right leg out to the right, up through center pivot, and down to the left with that right leg. Now, your knee should not go past that heel whatsoever. So you actually have to be stepping out far enough that the knee goes right over the ankle. Let's see it. Drop that back knee down. I'm still seeing these beautiful lines. Go ahead and switch legs. 
left leg out to the left and left leg off to the right hand side. So here's a little trick for you. If you're looking for that pivot, just stand up, release this heel when you stand up. Nice. It's gonna be that lift. Ballerinas use it, dancers use it. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. Shake all the legs in three, it's two, cool. one. We have a two point push up. Come on down to plank position. We're gonna give those legs a break. I know they deserve it. You're gonna lift your left leg. We're gonna lower down. We're gonna lift and we're gonna lift our right hand. Switching legs, down, lift, and a nice lift of the opposite hand. If you're going off of two points. It's slow down, three, hold one, up one, hold one. In three, two, one, I'm gonna count you guys in. It's down, two, three, hold, push, and lift. You're gonna see in mod two right here, she's flexing through that back foot, pulling up that leg. There's no pause at the bottom, right? So we're going down for three, immediately back up in a slight lift of the hand. Now what I'm gonna ask Robin to do is she goes down, she's gonna kill me right here. <laughs> but hey, form over everything, right? It's keeping those hips square. So trying not to lift the hips on either direction and I'm just holding them tight and I'm not making it easier for her, am I? <laughs> that way any sort of lift is coming directly from that core. And if that mod two or mod three is too hard, mod down right now. Relax in three, two, and one. Lay down on your belly, we have that prone flutter. So you're gonna extend your hands out in front of you, looking down at the floor. We're gonna exhale with our shoelaces facing down. Lift all the way up, and then we're gonna go into a nice flutter right now. Opposite arm, opposite leg. In three, two, one, here we go. So it's an exhale lift every time. d is going nice and quick. And remember, I need to ensure that you have a neutral neck and spine. What does that look like? Think about your spine starting from your tailbone going all the way up and it doesn't stop till it gets to the crown of your head. That means, look up for me. It's cranking his neck right here. Now look down. It's probably a lot easier to breathe right here, yeah? You're releasing from that lower back, lifting from the erectors, keeping the chest up off the floor and really just pressing those hip bones down, sucking the belly button in. I know, there's a ton of things to think about. It's all about practice. In mod one, you can lower down, catch your breath and relax. Lift up, last one right here in three, two, one, and relax. Nice court, thank you. Okay guys, staying right where you are, we have our crawl. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make a nice fist, we're gonna clasp it over with our opposite hand, okay? That's gonna be your grip. So we're finding that nice V position. We're gonna go over, clasp, your shoulders are extended away, drag those toes and catch the feet. Up, up, slide in. In three, two, one, begin. Now, man, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I am not Willy Wonka. This thing is pretty badass. It is not easy. I need you to squeeze those shoulder blades back. DK, how you doing? Based on the sweat on your mat, I can tell that you're actually kicking some major booty. Catching those toes right here. How you guys doing? Great. No one's playing dead on me, are you? Do not catch yourself laying on the floor. You get an automatic 100 push-ups. Courtney, you hear me? <laughs> you got this, guys. You have 10 more seconds. Come on, I've got this with you. We're going together. Over. Over. Come on, come on. Three, walk it back. Two, last one. Up top, girlfriend. I need a high five. Good job. I'm all about him. You guys, we're going into our planking Turk. Laying down on your back with your right leg and right hand up. Place your left arm out and you're gonna come up onto your elbow, onto your hand. Move into star plank. Put your foot back down, drop your hips, first your elbow and then back down. Make sure that that palm is nice and pressing up to the sky. Now, go ahead and get started in three, two and one. So staying on this right hand side for the first half. Now this is an extremely complex movement. So this would be a great time for you to go check out the tutorials if you're not quite sure how to do the movement, this is it. It's nice and slow. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Finishing up your last rep and moving on to that left hand side. I'm gonna come over to court and give her a little bit of resistance. Now she's gonna hate me for this, but it's actually gonna give her a little bit more balance right here. I want you to keep that resistance that I just gave you. You feel it in your core a little bit more, right? It, exactly, so we're looking to pack that shoulder, feel the weight in your core and lift up. 
kind of press that box off the top of your hand, right? Lift it up in three, finish off two, last one in one. Shake it off. We're coming up into our squatting Saxon right now. So stepping your feet out a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We're gonna stay down in the squat. You're gonna take your hands up overhead. Hips go back, knees over your ankles. We're gonna go over to the right hand side, up through center on an exhale, over to the left hand side, up through center on an exhale. Time starts in three, two, and one. Here we go. So it's a nice inhale over to the right. Exhale up through center. Inhale over to the left. Exhale up through center. Now something to tap in on. And if you've done a Saxon before, you know if you're going to the right, it's a left side body. If you're going to the left, it's that right side body drawing you up as he comes up through center. So it's always the opposite side. We're crunching and lifting. Think about getting taller as you're going back through center. Robin in mod two is gonna have her hands out nice and wide. This is gonna keep her chest nice and open. She's gonna stand up in between. And again, opposite side, opposite side. Release the squat and sit it back. Hit it hard, Robin. No going back. See ya. Three, two, and one. Shake it out right now. Y'all ready? Oh yeah. It's max push-ups and prone cobra. Uh, I know you guys are excited for this one. Let's take it down. Max push-ups, that means as many as you can get in. And I'll count you in and out of it. We're gonna move between the two. Y'all ready? Frequently. <sighs> Say a little prayer, do your hair. Time starts in three, <laughs> two, one, here we go. Whatever your favorite push-up is, I don't care if you wanna flip back and forth between the two of them. You can go wide, you can go narrow, you can go one hand. You can get one hand and gladiator push-ups on me. Whatever you have fun with. There's nothing wrong with having fun with it, right? Ooh. Come on, guys, you got this. Is anyone keeping count? You like to keep count of what you're giving me? At least keep that head looking straight forward. Nice. We're cranking it up, guys. Lay it down on your belly. Take those hands back behind you. Lift up and squeeze. Now you're going to lower, but not all the way down to the ground, right? Lift and lift. Squeeze. So what you're looking to do is really get those shoulder blades squeezing together behind you. I can actually see it happening right here. Oh my goodness. There's a line, this divot going right down the center of his back. Come on, DJ. Inhale lower, exhale, squeeze. Every single one of you should be busting your butt right now. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. You got it, Court? Yep. Exhale, three, Ooh. two, back to push ups. I want 10 seconds right here, as many as you can. We got this together. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. Can you give me a clap? Give me a clap. Oh, with me. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Get it, girl. You have three. You have two. Yeah, man. Finish off with those prone cobras. That wasn't even what I was looking for. It was so much better. You guys got this. Open those palms up to the side. You all got three. You got two. You got one. And that's it right there. Shake it out. That was pretty amazing. You guys deserve a break of water. Go ahead and grab it. If you need to towel off, now's the time to do it. As you mod up, make sure you check out the tutorials to ensure that you are using perfect form. Hey, and if you need to mod down, it's okay. Sometimes you need to move up, sometimes you need to move down. It's really good to stay hydrated right now. It's gonna help cool your body down. Okay guys, moving on to second round of set B. We're gonna start off with that single to double leg squat jump. Get ready to feel those legs burn. You know it's coming. Get ready for it, just own it, accept it. Open it up with wide arms. Here we go, time starts in four, three, two, one. Right leg lifted, we're going down for two, big jump, down, left leg up. One, two, down, one, one, two, down, one. Okay, in this second round, I want you to see how big of this jump you can give. Get that foot off the floor. Look at that. It's just a matter of asking for it. Ask your body to do something great today. Come on. Big jump, DA. Do it again. Look at that. I'm getting like six inches of height every single time. This is incredible. You have 15 more seconds. Can you keep it up? Robin, can you give me the same? Big jump. Big jump, Robin. Come on. You got six seconds, girlfriend. Come on, mama. Let's see it. You have three. You have two. You have one. I love it. A little smile just tightens up those out. Shake it out. We're going to our east-west lunge. Y'all know the deal. Right leg to the right, right leg to the left. We're going to stay here for half the time. Time starts in three, two, one. Here we go. Over to the right. Again, follow the foot and over to the left. 
follow the foot over to the right. Use that pivot. Drop that knee, keep the chest up nice and tall, right? So your eyes are looking where you're going, but that doesn't mean your head has to fall. And by that, I mean you don't actually have to lead with your head. Okay, <laughs> let's switch sides. I see this all the time, it's kind of crazy. When I see lunges and you're coming forward, you're not getting knighted today. Please keep your head up. I do not need to see that. Although it looks kind of cool, we can save that for another day. So you can see her beautiful lines. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Get your shoulders back, open it up, and own the world. You have three, two, one, shake it out. We're coming down for two point push ups. So, again, we're gonna start with that right leg lifted this time. We're gonna lower down for three, hold for one, lift, and give me that little arm lift. Right leg lifts, we go down, two, three, pull, push, and lift. Switch. Down, two, three, hold, push, and lift. Time starts in three. Two, one, begin. So, you're extending through that foot. You can point or you can flex. Everything is working together. Upper body, lower body, core. The body has to move as one functional unit. You're gonna see from her knee to her shoulder, one straight line, firing up the glutes. As soon as you lift that leg, you're gonna feel the hamstring fire up and the glute. You feel that? Back oh, yeah. here, posterior chain firing up, yes? <laughs> Jess, how about shoulders? Oh yeah. How about core? Everything. Everything, that's good. That's, that means it's working. That's perfect. You need to be able to feel your body working together. Shake it off in three, two, lay it down on your belly. We have our prone flutter. So, turn your toes in towards one another and press your hip bones into the floor. Now as you exhale and lift, awkward as it feels on your feet, it's a release in your lower back. Three, two, one, lift and begin that flutter right now. It is not easy. On mod two right here, you're gonna see Robin take her hands out into those Egyptian arms. So they're gonna be two 90 degrees. I'm gonna open up your arms a little bit more. So you're gonna actually be nice and wide in the shoulder blades. They're not squeezing together, but it's actually the erectors of the spine, which is those two long muscles, those pipes lining spine and lifting. Take a deep breath in for me. Watch this. Exhale, lift a little higher. So inhale, stay down. Exhale, lift a little higher. That's where you'll be able to hold it. As you exhale, you'll be able to hold it up a little bit higher. Time stops in three. Finish two. Finish one. You guys made it through. The crawl's coming up. So we're not going too far. We're coming up into our plank position. Mod three. Fist, clasp, and pull. Fist, clasp, Pull. Four forward, you're gonna crawl it all the way back and start right from the top. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. Here we go. So you're dragging your own body weight. Now, it's totally inappropriate to ask a woman her weight, so you would never do that, you're welcome. <laughs> but I'm gonna assume that your body weight is probably more than what you would ever go ahead and add to a press, yeah? If you're just starting out especially, that's why this body weight tool is the best you could possibly use. The core is staying nice and tight. Everything is working together. Core, how are you feeling? Good. So she's still giving me that rock onto her toes, sending everything forward, drawing it back. DJ, I feel you, man. You're almost there. Take it home. Robin's running it back. Final one right here. Final pass. And four. Come on, Robin. Three. Come on, Robin. Two. Final one. That's it. That breath is sometimes gonna take you through that last movement right there. Coming up into our planking Turk. Lay down on your back. We're gonna start with our right hand and right leg. Palm up. Left hand is off to the side. We go elbow, hand, stack, star, down, hips, elbow, shoulders. Time starts in three, two, and one. Now again. Don't feel weird if you have to go back to the tutorials a second time. I've done it myself. Hey, that's what happens when we ask you to do something like this. You need it broken down for you. I like to go back and make sure I'm crossing my T's and dotting my I's, right? Switching sides right here, finish. And go ahead and switch arms, switch legs. So again, resistance on the way up, that's gonna give you that nice solid plank, dropping the hips first and then breaking it down. You have 15 more seconds. Come on, turn that palm out, nice. Those feet are stacked, so we're learning how to lift 
on that side plank, you're gonna see the bottom of her body lift up, that side body, and then she's gonna sit back down. Last one right there, and shake it out. Finish your last rep and lower down. So we're gonna stand up for our squatting Saxon. So taking your feet, toes face forward, lift your big toes, sit into your heels, take your arms up overhead, and we're gonna lower down for that squat. Hold it here, I want everyone here with me. And I'm not gonna start till you get here. Y'all there, team? We're gonna take a deep breath in, lift up a quarter inch. Exhale, sit a little bit lower. This is where we're gonna begin. We're gonna take our inhale over to the right, exhale up through center, inhale over to the left, exhale up through center. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. Standing up in between your reps, that's a great chance to get lower every single time, yeah? As you build up strength in your legs and glutes and are able to sink lower into your squats, then you can start to think about moving up a mod. Remember, squats burn more calories than any other move, so you're welcome again. We're looking to really maximize our efficiency right here. We wanna get the most out of all of the movements that we're doing in this workout today. So don't go just blowing through the movements. I want you to think about what you're doing. You can always start to get a little bit lower each and every time. You guys have about five more seconds. We're almost there. This is three, two, one, and shake it out. Our blowout right now, our max push-ups, and our prone cobra shoulder squeeze. Coming on down. I want you guys to count in with me. Counting down from four. Find that plank position. In four, three, two, one. Here we go, team. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to do as many push-ups as you possibly can. Yes, it's 90 seconds. We're gonna float back and forth. Are you guys counting? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> and if you're not, go ahead and count now. I wanna see how many you can possibly get in and get, have a little competition with yourself. On, Within guys. 30 seconds. Ooh. Come on, guys, you got this. Go, Make it count, make it count. Let's go, exactly, come on, Robin. Let's go, Robin. Okay, you have three more seconds. Two and one, lay it on your belly. Take those hands back behind you, thumbs up to the ceiling, lift and squeeze. Now, do you guys have a number in your head of what you did for your push-ups? Anyone have a number? Uh, anyone, anyone 19, have a number? 30. What? Killer. <laughs> Use this opportunity to catch your breath. Breathe deeply. Push-ups are coming up again. You have three more seconds. We're going back into push-ups in two and one. Here's your next 15 seconds. I need you to get in as many as you can, no matter how tired you are, no matter how tired you are. You got this, girl, come on. Let's push it. Let's go, Court. DJ, we got you. Keep that head up. There's no crown of the head push up. You have three. Final two. Lay on your belly, prone cobra for 15 seconds. Give me everything you got. I need 100% right now. Come on, guys. All together. Four, three, two. One, oh, and whoa. you're finished. Amazing job. Okay, a little pat on the back right there. That was incredible. There's so much smiling going on. Listen, you are more than halfway through. I know this is tough. I know you're tired. These movements are made to make you feel this way. So what I want you to do is start to breathe. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, grab a sip of water, Know that this is supposed to be happening and you're gonna be even stronger tomorrow because of it. I promise you, if you stick with me, I got your back. Y'all ready? Oh yeah. Taking it to the top of set C, we're gonna start off our first round with a single leg deadlift to a weather vane squat. Robin, cover your ears, this is your favorite one ever. <laughs> so this is actually one of my favorites. So taking our hands out to that T, right leg back behind you for that deadlift, right leg out in front, swing the arms out in front, and lower down for that weather vane squat. So finding that balance. This left leg is essential. Y'all ready? Time starts in three, two, one, begin. So we're staying half the time on this left leg, then we'll switch. Now, this is something so beautiful. Just take a step back and look at what's happening right here. He's going in for that triple axle. Nope, he's actually coming in for that nice weather vane squat. It gives you a great idea of how strong and flexible figure skaters actually are. Switching sides in three, two, and one. I think in order to become a figure skater, you actually have to have a cool name like Christy Yamaguchi. And this next time, you're gonna give me this nice, fired up, flex foot back behind you. 
And three, two, one, shake it out. You're welcome, Robin. I stayed away from you on that set. Okay, we're going into our skinny tiptoe squat. Hands are gonna come up over our head. We're gonna bring our feet a little bit more narrow. We're gonna lower, lower, lower. Hold, lift, and hold to the top. Time starts in three, two, one. So make sure those heels are lifted up to your booty. I want your knees all the way up into your chest. Now, of course, if you have weak ankles, if you've had any sort of injury over the years, or maybe you just haven't developed the calf strength or front of your shin strength, that's absolutely fine. What I want you to do is just mod down right here, because this is not an easy one either. It's all about balance. So tuck the tummy in, keep the chest up. We're gonna send the knees up to your belly. Knees, knees, knees. Up, 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 heels up to your booty. That's a perfect line right there, and lift. Look how solid that was, isn't that great? Whose legs are on fire right now? I know you guys just came from that weather vane squat. You have five more seconds to get through this. Three, two, one, and now shake the legs out. Here comes that walking bridge. Now you might be laying down, but you're still gonna work those legs. Back side of the leg right here. Pack the shoulders up, coming into that forearm fish right here. You're gonna walk your feet out. One, two, three, four. Lift, four, three, two, one. Time starts in three, two, one. Okay. So this is a pretty challenging one, especially coming from those forearms. If you need to go to the tutorials, you're gonna see quite a few differences between our mods right now. So have a look if you need to and figure out which one's right for you. When you're up on the hands, the fingers are gonna face back behind you. She's lifting from the back side of the body and she's still marching her feet out for two and in for two. If you can't get those feet out further away from your body, that's where you're gonna start and then you're gonna progress up into Robin's mod two right here. If you can, yeah? Hips pressed up to knee height, just like in mod one. But you're going to go out for four, in for four. Squeeze that booty. Three, two, one, and relax. Relax, take that deep breath in, you did great. Okay guys, we have that spy push up. Super sneaky right here. I love it. We're gonna lower down, shift forward for a pause, back, and lift, switch, down, forward for a pause, back, and lift. Time starts in three, two, one. So we're gonna lower down. You're gonna see an M3. He's gonna pause at the front. He's gonna come back and then lift up. So it's down, Houdini forward. Bring it back and up. That's my coolest magic trick. If you didn't see it then, you'll never see it again. Mod two is the same movement, but there's no pause when you go forward and back. Taking those elbows nice and wide if you need to, off to that 45 degrees. Try not to scoop down in that lower back. This goes for all my mods right here. I need to see that lower back flattened out. Find it at the top, catch your breath, and then go right back into it. If you need to pause and take a break, it's okay with me as long as you come back when you can and keep going. So you guys have five more seconds. Back, exhale, push, and that's it right there. Drop your knees, shake it out, we have our advanced skater lunges. So stand up when you're ready. We're gonna take our hands back behind our head, just like you were gonna roll your hair back behind your ears. That way your fingertips are right on your earlobes, pressing the elbows back, lower down into our squat, shift over to the right, lift that leg, back through center, over to the left, lift that leg. Time starts in three. From the center, two, lower down to that squat, in one. Down, two, hold, shift, lift over through center, and find that lift. So you're looking at that foot lifting off the floor, but it's completely parallel right now. Like a speed skater, you're pushing side to side. Get that foot off the floor. I know you can lift a little higher than that, Pigay. Come on, come on. You're tired, but what's a little tired? Get out of your head, get into your body. Let your body do its thing. Shift and lift. Exhale, it's an inhale, exhale, lift. Hit my hand, come on, I'm right here for you, Pigay. Let's go. Sometimes you just need a little, oh, come on, Pigay, sit back. Robin, you got this too. Look at those powerful legs. You know you can do this. You guys got four. You got three. You got two. A little pop and one. Shake it out. We got our advanced bird dog. Consider this my gift to you. We're going to get a little bit more aligned right now. You have to pay attention to this one because this is going to really set you guys up beautifully. I'm just going to show it to the diagonal so you can see a little bit better. Tuck the toes under so you actually have your nice solid balance. We're gonna extend our right arm and left leg. We're gonna pulse and then find that crunch through the center. 
So it's an exhale, exhale, inhale. Time starts in three, two, one, here we go. Staying on that right hand side first. So right arm, left leg, and we will switch halfway through. But I like to see this toe tucked under. Nice. So that elbow and knee connect underneath. Really manipulate that spine. So as you're lengthening out, that right arm goes off to that 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Taking that left hand out in front of us. So her thumb is up to the ceiling. Her shoulder is nice and rotated open. So you're actually gonna see that nice opposition in her line right here. The arm to leg open, arm and leg closed. Really release through. Ah, can we stay here forever? Stay here? Yeah. <laughs> in three, two, one, relax. We're coming into our supine reverse crunch rotator. I love this one. We're laying down on our back. Our knees are gonna be over our hips. We're in a nice tabletop position. As we bring our knees up, we're gonna rotate in. Right knee and come back to 90. Lift, twist, and lower. Lift, twist, and lower. Time starts in three. Two, begin. So it's a nice exhale as you lower down, but your legs are never gonna come past 90 degrees. This is 90, and so much of the time, we allow our legs to actually come forward because it's so much weight coming down, but it's our job to stop them right there and exhale, bring it up. That's gonna be the challenge for you. Now, if you're not quite sure what the difference is in the modifications, check out the tutorials. Jana's gonna break it down for you. Now, you're gonna see her hands a little bit lower of a V right here because the lower your hands are down towards your hips, the easier it's gonna be. She's pressing each of her fingernails into the floor. Now, it might seem like something so totally small, but hey, it works. Three, two, one, and relax, guys. We have our blowout standing up for our swinger and our high knee sprints. Remember, this is set C, guys. We're making it through. We're almost there. Grab hold of your kettlebell, toes face forward. The hips back, swing up onto the toes, up to the toes. Now, just to be clear, we're not going into the squat all the way up. Hips back, hips front. So it's posterior, anterior, that's back and front. Make that ham sandwich, baby, all day long. In three, two, one, begin. Swing all the way up. Get up to those toes right here. This is your extended workout. I know you're killing it right here. You're dripping buckets. You should have a pile of sweat around you. If there's not a pool, don't worry, it's coming later, I promise. If you're like me and anything, we stop and then it all comes out. But hey, your success is there. I know you're gonna feel it from the inside out, right, Court? Oh yeah. Hit that hand, hit that hand every single time. Get it, girl. Push those hips forward. It's like Saturday Night Fever. Hips back and front. Exactly, come on, Robin. That's it. I want six seconds. I want five, four, three, two. High knees right here. Cheek to cheek. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Higher than your waist. We're on that 400 meter right now. We're gonna go right back into that swinger in another 10 seconds. I do not want you to quit. You have six, come on, DJ, five, three, two, one. Back into that swinger, you have 15 seconds, knowing that you're on that final 100 meter. You see it coming up ahead of you? 100 meters up ahead of you. You have another six seconds. We're going directly into it. We're going there in four. Courtney, you ready? I'm ready. In three, two, Sprint it home. Do you know anyone who walks through a finish line? We run. Let's go. Eight, come on, guys. Get those knees up. You do not walk through a finish line. I want to go faster. You have three. Come on, two, plus one. Nice work, guys. You deserve a break. Please keep moving around. The last thing you want to do is just sit down. Keep the arms moving. Keep the legs moving. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. Your muscles need to max out. You need to burn out and hit your final rep of every single move that you're about to go into. You do not quit until that timer runs out. You hear me? Okay, guys, this is it. Okay. Final round of set C. Are you excited? Do it. it I know I am. Man. It up, team. Okay, going right back into our, our single leg deadlift into our weather vane squat, our Lipinski. Yes. So taking our hands out to that T, right leg back behind you. Cut your balance first. Time starts in three, two, and one. Bring that right leg in front, going all the way down, 
and standing it right back up. So arms go out to the T and back in front. You knew I was coming for you. Oh, Sit I nice and low. Inhale, better. arms go out. Switching legs right here. Final one. Give me that left leg back behind you. So it's going into that nice, beautiful scale. I want you guys to go a little bit longer right here. Reach that leg out in front of you. Standing up nice and tall. Catch your balance. Then open it right back up. Think about that gymnast finishing a routine on that balance beam. It's beautiful. It's solid. In three, two, one. Relax. Okay, skinny tiptoe squat. Three seconds down. You're going to hold for one. Lift for one. Hold for one. Bring those hands up. Lift up on the toes. We're going to lower down. Three, two, one. Hold, lift, and squeeze. Three, two, one, begin. So I'm gonna show you from the side. I like to see knees up as I'm going down. So heels up, knees up to your chest. Now, at this, I would even go down to a mod two or a mod one. I'm gonna admit it, I'm not a superhero, although I may look like one some days. <laughs> but we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And that'll show up in your primal challenge. So again, use that as your roadmap to kind of figure out which mod is gonna be right for you. In mod one, you're still gonna see the heels up, but less depth on the squat and hands are on the hips. And remember, just because the movement starts from our legs down doesn't mean you forget about that core. Final three, two, one, and relax. So let's come down to our booties. We're gonna go out to that walking bridge. So really pack the shoulders right here. I want you to make sure that your feet are not too wide to start off with. Walk your feet in as far as you can go, then find your top, and then you're gonna walk it out. That's your walking bridge, walk it back in. And again, at the top, that's your chance to really lift and squeeze. In three, two, one, here we go. So again, if you haven't been able to find it from the fish position on the forearms, which is bringing your elbows directly underneath your shoulders, you're gonna go up onto your hands. This is gonna give you quite a bit more room to actually walk the feet out. You're gonna see mod three and mod two giving me four steps each right now. I want you to walk your feet out as far as you can go. So we're looking for a full extension in the legs, right? Almost a full straight leg. That's it, Robin. Okay. The only difference that you're gonna see in mod one right here is two steps. It's the same movement pattern, but we're making it easier to keep our hips up by not stepping out as far with just two steps. Five more seconds, we're almost there. This is three, two, one, relax down. Good job, guys. Coming in to our plank position. Our spy push-up is coming next. You're lifting your right leg this time. We're gonna lower down, shift forward for a pause, back, and lift, switch, down, forward for a pause, back, and lift. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. So what we're looking for is longer time under tension. The tension that we're bringing the body forward and holding it there, that pause is essential to really fire up the shoulders, the triceps, the chest, everything is working, upper body together. DJ, you feel it right here, yes? Oh, yeah. Can you My see his arms? burning up. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. His triceps are burning out. That doesn't mean you're gonna quit, no? Never. Exactly. So this is just body weight right here. I'm not asking him to bench 200, 300 pounds, but just think of the workout you're getting. You guys have about five more seconds. We're almost there. This is three, two, one, relax. Okay, guys, standing it up for our advanced skater lunge. Taking your feet wider than hip distance apart. Now, it's good to really set yourself up because this is gonna be about the distance of your lunge when you're actually shifting side to side. So taking your hands back, roll the hair behind your ears. Elbows open, show off that nice new diamond necklace. Sit it back, we're gonna shift to the right. Lift, shift through center, over to the left. Lift in three, two, one, here we go. So shifting. Now, I've seen you give me that nice lift that I was looking for before. You're gonna hit it again, right? This is your final set through. You guys are making your way to the very end. I know you're exhausted, guys. I can see it, but there is no quitting. What is not an option? Not quitting is not an option. Right. <laughs> We're in this together. We're gonna finish it together. Give that little ankle pop right here, a little bevel toe. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you have 15 more seconds. 
Continue shifting that weight no matter what side you go to, that chest stays lifted on both sides. So we're not leaning into it. I don't want you to fall over. There's no topple right here. Chest stays lifted. Robin's giving it to me right here. In three, final two, last one, shake it out. We have our advanced bird dog. Take it down. Yes. Okay. So again, first, tuck the toes under. Really find your grip. Press away from the floor. So if you're sinking down already, you're setting yourself up for failure. Lift, right arm out, 45 degrees, left leg back behind you. Pulse, pulse, elbow to knee, tap. Here we go in three, two, one, and begin. So in that mod three, you're gonna give me a pulse, pulse at the top and the crunch in the center. Again, you have half the time on the right, half the time on the left. So you're gonna see in mod one right here, she's extending all the way and just bringing it back to neutral. So she's gonna skip the crunch on the center and just work on actually keeping her hands and leg elevated off the floor the entire time. Switch legs, guys. From our mod one into our two, there's no pulse at the top, but there is a crunch in the center. So you're gonna see her elbow and her knee meet. Boom, they kiss and they open up. It's like her elbow and her knee just fell in love. It isn't cute. 10 more seconds right love here. Love-hate relationship. It's a love-hate okay. relationship. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lay it down on our back, our supine reverse crunch rotator. This is your last exercise before the blowout, guys. Take your hands out to T position. Take your knees into that tabletop. We're gonna exhale, right knee up to left shoulder. Exhale, left knee up to right shoulder. Always at 90 degrees in three, two, one. You have almost completed the extended version. You can do this. Do you know that? Oh, I hope so. Do you know what else? <laughs> you are now under siege. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, you're almost there. Bring it home right now. Fire up those abs. Come on, DK, I want you to hit my hands. Left and right. Come on, do it again. Here we go. You are almost through. Woo, keep reversing. Robin's smiling down here. Something must be working. <laughs> this is a feel good moment. She's like, hallelujah, we're almost there. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. Almost there. You have 10 more seconds. Finish right here. You do not quit till you hear that three. Here it comes. In two, final one. And now you recover. We're going into our blowout. Stand it up for our swinger and our high knee sprint. There's no time to waste. Three, shoulders back. Two, time begins. Up on those toes. Hips back, hips front. Hips back, hips front. Arms go all the way up. You're lifting up onto those toes every single on, time. Hips back, hips front, hips back, hips front. I really want you to get your heart rate up. I know it should already be there. You are just on your back. You're gonna take that heart rate up. Get up on those toes. I know you're dying right here, yeah? Where's that sweat? Let me see it. Come on, let me see it drip off your face, Robin. Let's go, let's go. Up a little higher, yeah? Hit it, take your mark every single time. If you don't have a mark, I want you to envision it right out in front of you. You hit it every single time. Make it count. You have five, four, three, two, into sprints right now. Come on. Okay, make it count, guys. Turn to your right. Turn to your right. Woo! Bring it back to front. Bring it home. You are with me right now. You guys are doing amazing. Quicker. Three, two, swinger. Here we go. Let me hear that breath. Pull it out. Dig from somewhere that you've never been before. Today is a new day. Shamari, you will thank yourself for getting through this. You will never regret a workout. I promise you that, man. Go with it. Nice, Diga. These are awesome. You have three, two, switch it home. Turn left. Turn left. Woo! Bring it back to front. Bring it home. In three, in two, and one. Oh my gosh. You guys, breathe. Put it up top. Oh, that was absolutely extraordinary. You. you should be <laughs> dripping right now. Oh. That was amazing. I'm a proud mama, thank you. <laughs> I gotta give it to you guys. I am so proud of you for finishing off that extended version. It's not an easy one. When you bring it back to the mat, guys, let's get stretched out together. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Interlace your fingers. Plant your heels right here. Reach up and over to the right. Ah, oh, you can smile now, you made it. Up and over to the left. Back up through center. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. 
curl your spine, press your palms forward. Inhale all the way up. Let's go ahead and shake it out. I want you to pull that right leg back up behind you, standing tall on that left. If you sink into the hip, I need you to lift, nice and tall. Plant that foot back behind you, heel down, hips forward. We're gonna slide that leg through, hand on the bent leg. Nice hamstring stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and switch it up and pick up that left leg back behind us. If you sink into that right hip, again, lift up nice and tall. Find your balance. Go ahead and plant that foot down back behind you. Heel to the floor. We're stretching out that Achilles, that calf. We're gonna slide that foot in front, hands on the bent leg, bring the toe up towards you. Hamstring stretch, that's the back of the leg. All those walkouts that you did today, it's right here, right now, stretching it back out. Bring it in, curl it all the way up. I want you to take your head over to the right, lift that left hand up to the sky, right hand reach down, back up through center, tilt the head, lift the right hand, reach the left hand down, and bring it back through to center. Guys, bring it all together. I am so proud of you guys. You guys kill it. That was the extended program of Strength 2. Give yourself a big round of applause. Awesome job, guys. I'm Rebecca, and thanks for joining me in Evolve.